Yeah, guys, that's right. This is expected to kick off a massive legal battle. The group behind this lawsuit is asking a judge to block a proposed Catholic religious charter school from opening or getting any public money. The latest battle over the separation of church and state is happening right now in Oklahoma. On Monday, the Oklahoma Parent Legislative Action Committee filed a lawsuit in Oklahoma County District Court to stop the nation's first religious charter school. Let us be clear. No student or employee should be denied access to public education for failing to conform to religious doctrine. And the government should never fund discrimination against students and families. Several of the plaintiffs held a press conference to go over the lawsuit. They say you cannot use public dollars to create or fund a religious school. The Archdiocese has every right to run a private religious school on its own dime like many such schools across the state. But that is a far cry from a state-approved public school, which must be non-religious and open to all and funded directly with taxpayer dollars. In June, the Oklahoma State Virtual Charter School Board voted three to two to approve an application from the Archdiocese to create St. Isidore's Catholic Virtual School. The lawsuit says it's clear the school would not be open to all. As a pastor, I care deeply about religious freedom. It protects our right to practice the religion of our choice or no religion at all. In a statement, State Superintendent Ryan Walters reacted to the lawsuit, saying in part, quote, religious freedom is a cornerstone of the founding of Oklahoma, and the plaintiffs in this lawsuit are attempting to attack that cornerstone. It is a blatant disregard of the Constitution and the American values that have made the United States such a successful country. Creating a religious public charter school is not religious freedom. Forcing taxpayers to fund a religious school that, as they openly admit, will be a place of evangelicalization for one specific religion is not religious freedom. Now, if you remember, Oklahoma's Attorney General Gettner Drummond weighed in on this religious charter school approval last month, saying that the members who approved it violated their oath, adding that they exposed themselves and the state to potential costly legal battles.